This is the inside of the cab of the McCormick X7 series VT drive tractors with CVT transmission. This video will take you through the various controls that will operate these particular tractors. Up front we have the tilt and telescopic steering wheel that also contains the main transmission control lever on the left side of the steering column. This orange lever has three main positions. In the down position, the transmission is in neutral. By lifting the lever towards the steering wheel, you activate the transmission, and then you select your desired travel direction by simply bumping the lever forward or reverse. At any time, you can neutralize the transmission by simply pressing down. In front of the steering wheel, we have our information dashboard that includes both analog and an LCD digital readout. The operator can customize certain functions of the tractor using this uh, interactive LCD display. Most major tractor controls are found in the right hand armrest control center that is integrated into the right side of the operator's seat. Now the control center main point is going to be our multifunction control handle that is placed uh, comfortably for the operator to rest their hand on it and be able to operate lots of different tractor controls. The multifunction control handle does move. It can be pressed forward or reverse to control the transmission. Pressing forward will accelerate in the forward direction. Letting go holds the speed and pulling back will decelerate the CVT transmission. Uh, vice versa, if you're in the reverse travel direction, pulling back will accelerate in the rearward direction. Letting go holds the speed, and pressing forward will decelerate you in the reverse direction. The handle is proportional, meaning the further you press it forward, the faster the acceleration will be. There are several different controls integrated into the multifunction control handle. There are two buttons for the operator to control certain aspects of the transmission, such as increasing or decreasing the cruise control speed. The blue buttons here will control the first rear hydraulic spool valve. There is a headland management button that allows the operator to program several different tractor functions into a single button for easy headland turnaround. Uh, examples of these operations could include uh, four-wheel drive on and off, differential lock on and off, guidance system on off, rear PTO raise and excuse me rear three-point hitch raise and lower rear PTO on and off and many many more there is a cruise control button that allows the operator to store and then recall a selected travel speed there is three-point hitch raise and lower function as well as a remote shuttle button that allows the operator to use the right hand to change the direction of the tractor from forward to reverse and back again all of these functions are found in the multifunction control handle on the right side. Other major tractor controls can be found in the right side control console. Some of these controls will include an engine RPM lever for controlling the engine speed. There are fingertip control levers for operating the rear hydraulic spool valves. All X7 tractors can be equipped with up to five rear spool valves. There are buttons to engage and disengage the guidance system, as well as the proportional steering system called Easy Steer. It allows the operator to adjust the steering wheel so that it can basically reduce the number of steering wheel rotations to turn the front wheels from full right to full left and back. There is an automatic PTO system that will disengage the PTO when the rear three-point hitch is raised and then automatically engage the PTO when it, is, when it is lowered. There is an engine speed memory button that allows the operator to, to recall a programmed or a set engine speed. There is also a differential lock button and a four wheel drive engage disengage button. Yellow buttons over to the right side include a engagement button for the rear PTO as well as for a front PTO if the tractor is so equipped. There is a simple joystick located in the armrest. Uh, this joystick can be used to control a front three-point hitch if the tractor is equipped. It can also be used to control a front loader. Uh, it is a three-function controller that allows for raising and lowering, curl and dump, as well as third function for things such as a grapple. 
It is integrated into the armrest, electronic joystick, very slick. A few other buttons include a transmission lock button that locks the ratio of the CVT transmission for downhill descent. Basically allows us the engine to rev up and uh, use the engine to slow down a load when going down hills. There is a master hydraulic lock switch to lock all the electronic hydraulic functions of the tractor for safety. There is an operator presence switch where the operator can actually disengage the switch. So to exit the tractor while certain things are going on. Uh, it is a uh, safety switch though it requires a deliberate motion to be able to engage these functions. If the tractor is equipped with radar, there is a um, wheel slip monitor. And if the tractor is also equipped with front axle suspension, there's a front axle suspension on and off button. Um, controls for interior lighting. And then there is a knob located over on the side to adjust the depth of the rear three point hitch when lowered, as well as one for adjusting the draft sensing for the tractor. Lastly, some buttons that allow the operator to scroll through and select different features of the front digital display integrated into the dash. Underneath the elbow pad of the armrest, you'll find the last few controls. There is a knob for adjusting the transmission's behavior from power to economy, as well as functions for determining how high the three-point hitch raises and how fast it will drop. Now over to the right side, the right fender well center of the cab, you will find two levers, two yellow levers. These are for PTO gear selection. The first lever selects between 540 or 1000 PTO speed, and the second lever selects between normal or economy PTO speed. The data screen manager is standard equipment on all McCormick X7 VT drive tractors with CVT transmission. This 12 inch color touch screen display allows the operator to go in and set different parameters within the tractor. Uh, it's very, very easy to use and the software was designed to operate very similar to a tablet operating system that we use for smartphones or iPads. Um, the colorful display is easy to read. It is fully adjustable to move around to suit the operator. And by simply selecting icons, the operator can go through and uh, manage the different functions of the tractor. This terminal is also an ISO bus supported virtual terminal, which would allow the customer to plug in or attach implements to this tractor and then be able to connect them to the electrical system and actually use this terminal as a virtual display for that implement. It is ISO 11783 compliant. So these are the major controls for McCormick X7 tractor with VT drive transmission. For more information about these machines, go to our website at www.mccormicknacom Thank you for watching.